Alright, the girls have been settling in the last few days. It's been about a week now, I want to say, since we've had them. Been doing good. They're all Cornix quail, and then we have a, a mix with the Texas A&M. That's the white one. So yeah, and they're doing pretty good. Today we're just going to talk about, you know, keeping them warm and stuff like that. I'm sure it's a worry. And uh, you'll be honestly very surprised on how hardy they are. Okay guys, we're going to talk about keeping quail warm. Um, I'm here in Northern California, so it doesn't snow or anything like that. But a lot of people do are able to keep quail even when it's snowing and it gets to negative temperatures. There's only a few things that you really need uh, to have for the quail to stay pretty warm. One is some place to get out of the wind. Wind is the biggest enemy um, in keeping quail cold. Um, and keeping their body temperature down. So if you guys can make some nest boxes or have a closed off section in the pen um, that's either tarped off or something that gets them out of the wind, um, that is going to help them a lot. From there they can bundle up together um, and you know and share body heat and be okay. Now if you want to go the extra step um, and if you have hard floors such as mine or you have nest boxes or something what you can throw in there is pine shavings or hay, um, some type of bedding um, for them to get into and huddle up in. And that's just going to keep their body heat closer to them. Um, it won't radiate away from them through the floor. Uh, it'll just come back at them. I mean, that's really all you really need to do. If it gets a little bit colder, you can throw some even tree branches and stuff in there to make them a little hutch or something like that. But just getting them out of the wind, having some bedding, they usually be fine. Now if you really get cold um, and it's snowing there, you know, you get close to zero, negative temperature and stuff, I would just go ahead and throw a heat lamp in one side of it if you can accommodate that. Um, I think that would be the best because worse comes worse, they really do get too cold, they can go over to the heat lamp and heat up and then they can always move away from it. But again, you know, here we get down, at the most we get down to like 40s, sometimes into the 30s. We've had some nights at 32 degrees, 36 degrees, somewhere around there. Um, and the quail do just fine. Same with the rain, you know, if a cold storm comes in or anything, it's mixed in with a little bit of rain. As long as they're out of the rain, they're out of the wind, they have a little bit of bedding, they are completely fine. So that's pretty much it. Nothing too much. I hope you guys are enjoying the quail videos. There's going to be a lot more. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.